What's going on everyone? Welcome to a brand new movie review. Today I'm discussing the brand new A24 film, First Reformed. Now this is a film that I've heard some good buzz coming out of some of the film festivals. It's also directed and written by Paul Schreider, the guy who wrote Taxi Driver and Raging Bull. So I didn't really know anything going in this film. I knew it had Ethan Hawke, I knew it had Amanda Seyfried, and I knew the story was about a priest dealing with some personal issues, and when this couple comes into his life, it kind of flips it sideways for him, and that's all I knew about the film. And that's the best way to go into this film, so I'm going to stay very vague with this film, and I will say this is a film I would recommend for indie junkies and A24 fans, especially if you liked a ghost story. If you loved a ghost story, you will love this film. If you hated a ghost story, you're probably going to hate this film. A ghost story I loved. Coming out of First Reform, though, I will say I was a little bit taken away by the ending, and especially the whole third act. But as the more I've thought about it, the more I've sat on it, I definitely appreciate it more and more as the more I think about it. The thing is I want to get out of the way first is I'm going to say this right now. This is Ethan Hawke's best performance. And I don't just mean his best performance like he in his career. No, this is his best performance he will ever have. And that's not going credit because this guy has a wonderful filmography. But this is easily his best performance. And a lot of it goes to just his performance, his nuance, and the script that Paul Schrader gave to him. Fantastic script. Amanda Seyfried, fantastic young actress, and she is fantastic in here as well. But really, this is Ethan Hawke's show. It's a very much a character study of his character. And it's just so compelling from start to really the second act. And the third act just really changes into this weird scenario. But it also fits the tone of this film. This is a dark, grim film that at times when the film ended, this is the first time I've ever seen this, besides a Marvel film when there's a post-credit scene. This is the first time I've ever seen this where... The whole audience that I sat with, when the film ended, no one got up, everyone was just, it, it, you just hear this giant, <gasps> just as everyone let a breath out once the film ended. Because the third act really just holds you tight and it's like, okay, do I think I know where it's going to go? Do I not? And the film didn't go in any directions that I thought it was going to go. It starts leading towards those, but it doesn't end up going there. And I really appreciated what the film took in those aspects. And I love A24. I love these risky films that they take and totally let the director do what they want to. And some of their films work and some of their films don't. I think this is in that category it does. And this film is also filmed in the same aspect ratio that Ghost Story was. And it really worked for the film. It did the same thing where it pulls you into the film and does something different with the story. And the cinematography of the film is stunning. It's the same thing that a Ghost Story did with the way it would move the camera. And I appreciated that even more. I keep saying appreciated because I really do appreciate a lot of things that they took to make this film and I could tell just the way the film was in the dialogue and the cinematography was all pouring onto the screen. This is where I get to on this aspect of this film. This film is not for everyone. I would go as far to say that this film does diverge some of the messages that you feel like you're getting. And again, I appreciated the messages it gave. Some of them are a little bit too preachy and a little bit too on the head and on the nose, but maybe that's just the way I took it. I think a lot of people are going to take the messages from this film very differently. There's a couple messages I took from it, some a little bit too rough, some a bit a little bit too much to heart, which I appreciated those ones. But the ones that were a little bit too clear on the noggin, I think there's more to them. And this is a film that I really think over time, as people analyze it, as people look into this film more and look in and all the symbolization, I think this is a film that's going to be one of the best films of the year. This is easily the best performance I've seen this year as well. Again, one of the better films I've seen this year too. Again, I think the messages can be a little bit too preachy. At least it came off to me that way. And one other person I was talking to with the film, they, they said the same thing. It is a very hard film to watch. Some of the imagery in here is very shocking at moments. And I, again, this film knocked me on my ass. It, 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 I haven't been knocked on my ass in a while from an indie film. And that's just... I'm lost for words, to be honest. I, I was lost for words. I did not know how I was going to make this review. And... It's a tough film to review. With that said, Ethan Hawke gives a life-changing performance. This is his best performance today and his best performance of his career. Mana Seyfried proves that she is a very capable young actress and she gives a great performance as well. Cinematography is great, great direction, great camera movements and everything. The writing is superb and everything about First Reform is great and just it's one of those unique films that you get once a year and I think just like A Ghost Story was last year, I think First Reform will be for this year. Again, message gets a little bit too preachy. I think there's some more analyzing to do within this film that I can't wait to buy it on Blu-ray and really just watch it and pick what symbolism this is and symbolism this is. So again, if these are the type of films you like, you're going to love this film. 
If it's not, maybe not in your wheelhouse. So again, this film is going out to a lot of different theaters. I know if you're in the Arizona area, it's in Camelview. If it's not, it's probably hitting up California and other areas as well. So I do recommend seeing this film if you're into those type of indie films. With that said, I'm going to give First Reform an A-. And I really like this film. I think I like Ghost Story a little bit more though, because I actually got the message and the symbolism through that film. This film, the, the message it gave me was a little bit weird and awkward. And sometimes I, I feel like I pulled the other message that it was trying to diverge from, but still really appreciate this film. Very well done. And I hope to hear what you guys think about this film. But guys, the most important thing is out again, have you guys heard about this film or have you not? I want to hear your guys' thoughts and comments down below. So let's talk about it. Plus leave me a comment telling me what your favorite A24 film is. That's going to be fun, right? Tons of great ones. As other than that, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button, especially if you're new, com consider subscribing because I do tons of movie reviews like this. I review pretty much every single film out there. Also, if you guys want to talk more movies, go hit up all my social media links. Love posting and talking geeky stuff over there. And if you guys want to get up on the latest movie news and maybe get win some tickets to go see advanced movie screenings, go check out Sandwich John Films down below because again, there you can win advanced movie screenings, check out movie news and movie reviews. But until next time, guys, you guys are seriously all the best and... Stay classy.